Oh hey, I'm Nason Tackett with uh, Here Technologies, checking out the uh, new Switchback Matrix device that uh, we just released. This is a really cool device that you can use for recording or live sound. So this is really two devices in one. It's a headphone monitoring mixer with headphone amplifier, and it's an interface for microphones, instruments, line inputs. This is a Dante device, and that means uh, it works over a standard Ethernet. You can send audio and power over a single Ethernet cable with other Dante devices on the network. This could be other switchback matrices, could be a laptop, could be a soundboard, anything that has Dante uh, capabilities. For the headphone monitoring mixer, you've got eight inputs. There are four mono inputs and two stereo inputs that are set up on these concentric knobs where you've got a separate tip and ring. The tips of each knob are your local inputs. You've got microphone input A, microphone input B, and your stereo line input here on C. Now on the ring, which is red, these are Dante returns. So these are inputs that can be assigned on the Dante network from other devices. You've got a mono, another mono, and then a stereo. So it's a total of eight channels, and then you've got your master volume for your headphones here. Below each of the knobs uh, is an LED to indicate signal, which lights up blue, and red to indicate clip for each of the channels. There's also a fault LED underneath the headphones in case there's a problem. There's an RGB LED here on the front. This color can be changed to any color you like for identification purposes. This is great if you've got multiple matrix mixers and you want to know which one you're controlling. That color can be changed by holding the two blue buttons on the bottom at the same time to choose your color, or you can use our app to choose the color. Once you get the color where you like it, you can go into the app and you can label this mixer, which is orange, and give it a human readable name. There's also an identify function that will flash the uh, LED through the color spectrum to indicate uh, which uh, mixer that you are identifying. So it's real easy to figure out which mixer is which. Now here on the bottom is your interface. These are all your inputs and your ethernet connection. So you've got two combo XLR quarter inch connections here. These have a studio quality mic preamp and an adjustable gain, which is the blue button. The gain is adjustable in 3 dB increments. If you push the button, you can choose the gain of either microphone input, or if you push and hold, you can turn the phantom power on or off for A and B. That is a true 48 volt phantom power. The eighth inch input here is your input C. That's a stereo line input. So you could have a microphone, guitar, whatever you like, any kind of an instrument, keyboards. On the uh, stereo line input, you could have a metronome, you could have uh, like an iPad, iPod, uh, whatever you like. Or if you wanted to have two more microphone inputs, you could have another uh, external microphone preamp uh, connected in here. So you could have a total of four inputs. These four inputs are available to your headphones using the tips of each of the knobs. So you can monitor those inputs here. That is in the analog domain, so that's zero latency. Then these inputs are also available over the Dante network. So you can go in and you can route these inputs to any other Dante device on the network. This could be a recording device, like a computer, it could be a soundboard, or it could actually be other matrix mixers. So one way you could use this system is 
just have multiple uh, switchback matrix mixers on a network switch and route audio from one device to another. So you could have uh, one person that has a vocal mic plugged in, maybe a uh, second person who has a guitar, a third person who has keyboards, and then maybe a drummer even. So each of these people would have their local inputs plugged in and they would be able to monitor their local inputs on the tips of each of these knobs. And then you could assign each person to every other person. So one person who is doing the vocals could have the guitar, the bass, the, you know, the drums assigned to each of these other knobs. If you wanted to get a little more complex, you could also have a soundboard where you uh, mix everybody together. And so you would have a composite stereo mix of everybody here. But then the important things that that particular person needs to key off of, say, uh, the kick drum and the bass guitar are essential for uh, the person um, using this mixer. So they could be assigned to those two knobs. Whereas another person might need to hear uh, the lead vocalist on the knob and uh, maybe the kick drum. So that's the wonderful thing about uh, Dante is that it's just basically a big matrix that you can go in and you can assign anything anywhere. And it's all using just standard ethernet cabling. So now everybody can actually be routed to everybody without any additional equipment. So that kind of a setup would basically be uh, multiple matrix mixers and then just a network switch. And then everybody's got their headphones and you've got your microphones and your instruments plugged in. And you've basically got a little jam system, which you can also record. If you have a uh, computer hooked up, uh, Dante has a nifty little um, sound card driver that you can install called the virtual sound card. And what that does is it lets you plug an ethernet cable into your computer and you can stream up to uh, 32 channels in and out of your computer with nothing but that driver. So you don't need any additional I.O. Uh, the matrix mixers are basically your entire recording studio along with your computer. So very simple setup. The uh, headphone amplifier is the same amplifier that is in our Hearback Pro and Octo uh, mixers, as well as the power supply that's in here is the same power supply that is in the Hearback Pro mixer. So it's a very beefy uh, setup. You've got two and a half watts per ear uh, for power. It can drive anywhere from a uh, eight ohm pair of headphones to a 600 ohm pair of headphones, uh, no problem. And the um, microphone preamps are super clean. Uh, this thing is kind of crazy. You can actually crank up all of the channels wide open and not even hear any hiss. You'll think the thing is actually off until you get an audio signal going through it and then it blows your ears out. So be, be careful. <laughs> it's very, very low noise. Um, we, uh, we beat on that for a while while we were designing this because we wanted this to be really a very primo uh, product that you could use for uh, recording purposes. But, uh, it also has a lot of other uh, purposes. We've talked to some people uh, in the broadcast industry, for example, and they see uh, applications for this used for uh, like sports uh, announcers and uh, newscasters, news anchors, uh, being able to uh, plug in their local inputs and get them onto the Dante network, but also have the ability to um, monitor what they're doing as well as uh, some of the feeds that are coming back. You could have the director um, uh, coming back on one of the channels, things like that. Now, um, so let's talk about that. Basically, to power these things and to get audio to and from each of these devices, you use standard ethernet. This is 100 megabit ethernet. You can also use gigabit ethernet. Uh, it needs to have PoE power. So you can use an off the shelf network switch, or you can use our Hearback Pro Distro. This is a um, device that we make for the Hearback Pro system, but will also work uh, great for the uh, switchback matrix. We've got eight gigabit uh, ethernet ports with PoE plus power. And this is in a nice rugged uh, aluminum case. It's about the size of a DI. So you could set that in the live room on the stage 
uh, and then you can basically power up all of your matrices. These can even be daisy chained uh, for much larger setups. Alternatively, we have a uh, adapter that you can use. This is an accessory that's purchased uh, separately that we have available. And all it is is a power injector. And we ship you a um, wall warp power supply that plugs in to the little uh, DC barrel. And then you've got your RJ45 male and female. And actually it doesn't really matter which way you go. You can take and, and run a uh, Cat5 cable from here over to your matrix mixer. This other end can plug into either your network switch or it could plug directly into your computer. So if you wanted to use just one of these with your computer, this is a great way to do it. You can take and plug your power in, run your ethernet cable to the matrix, plug that into your computer, and now you have basically a point-to-point -point, uh, Dante network where you can send and receive audios uh, between the matrix mixer and your computer. One piece that we have uh, that really works well with this is our app, which lets you remote control the gain, the phantom power, and your LED color on each device. It also gives you an easy way to name each device and to identify it. These two buttons can actually be locked out. This is a simple procedure. You can either hold the two buttons while you plug the Ethernet cable in, or you can lock it out using the app. This is great for uh, keeping the uh, artist from accidentally adjusting the gain uh, during a performance. Since the gain uh, adjusts both the audio going to the Dante network as well as to the headphones, this is something that you really kind of want to set and forget. Now the knobs are only controlling the level going to the headphones. So the artist can do whatever they want here and it's not going to mess uh, with the audio that's going out over the Dante network. On the bottom of the device, we've got a standard camera tripod thread. And this serves two purposes. We ship a little uh, belt clip that goes on this and screws into that thread. And so you can actually put this on your belt if you like, plug your headphones in, plug any kind of inputs that you like, and wear it on your belt. The other idea is that we uh, ship this with a adapter that takes that camera tripod thread down to a standard microphone stand mount. And this could be mounted on top of a mic stand, or you can use a claw, which we've got available as an accessory. So if you've already got a microphone stand, you could take and mount that with a claw to the microphone stand and adjust it so that uh, you can see all of your knobs and controls like that and plug your headphones in. So the Switchback Matrix is an excellent device for recording studios, for live sound applications, broadcast, and many other things we haven't even thought of yet. So check us out at uh, hearback.com. I'm Nason Tackett. Thanks for tuning in.